Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. In this video, we're going to talk about NDI screen capture, which is arguably one of the most important NDI tools and one that most people use in the beginning learning how to use NDI. So let's take a look. NDI screen capture is a tool that simply captures your screen and makes it available as an NDI video output, which is discoverable on your local area network so that you can use it and record that video, make a production with that video with a lot of different NDI compatible solutions, including vMix, Wirecast, OBS, the TriCaster, etc. Now, NDI screen capture, just to give you an idea, is part of this book. And we've already talked all about how we use NDI at Stream Geek. So you've kind of have some idea of how we use screen capture. We've looked at OBS examples and vMix examples. And at this point throughout the book, you kind of have a good idea of how a local area network works and some of the best NDI tools. Well, screen capture is one that you need to know about. It lives in the system tray of your computer. So when you launch it, you get a little screen capture notification to let you know that your screen is now available as an NDI source. And then in the system tray, which I'll show you right now, in the system tray, you're going to see a little NDI screen capture button. And this NDI screen capture area, if you right click it, is going to open up all of the different areas that you can set up. So right now, you can see I'm actually uh, using NDI screen capture, and it's at 60 frames a second, roughly, 59.94 progressive. I'm going to switch that to 30 because what we're doing here is just capturing frames of a, a PowerPoint slide. So it's not really necessary to be super high frame rate, but it can be, which is great. Uh, you've got some additional capture settings inside of here to capture just a specific region of interest or, uh, you know, to configure the region of interest. By default, it's just going to select your entire screen. You can also choose whether or not you want to show the mouse pointer. That's something I'm going to add here really quickly, just so you can see the mouse pointer is now available in this screen that's being captured right now. You have the ability to add an audio source, which is nice. And we'll talk more about audio and NDI in our upcoming videos. But you can also add a webcam source. And this is really nice. And we're going to talk about some examples of why you might want to use a webcam source along with a captured screen, especially in esports. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Also, you know, your webcam can have video and audio, and that can be sent as an NDI output. And I'm going to go ahead and select a PTZ Optics webcam that is connected to my computer right now. I'm not going to worry about audio, but I, want, I do want to have a webcam connected and you can see here you can choose the resolution for the webcam and another thing you can do is you can enable kvm control okay kvm is keyboard video and mouse control and that allows you to use studio monitor on an additional computer to actually control this computer running screen capture so let's go back to my presentation. So high level, we've kind of looked at the, the solution. It, it works it's in the system tray. It's really, really simple. And the reason why it's in the system tray is because it's supposed to be, excuse me, it's supposed to be out of the way, okay? It's supposed to just be in the background. It turns this computer screen. And by the way, not just one screen, but possibly more than one screen. You can actually capture multiple screens of video make them available as an NDI source. Now, here's an example, just a simple example, and we're going to show this here in our studio in a moment to give you a real-world scenario. But let's say you've got a laptop screen and a webcam. And this is really awesome for esports as well, where maybe you've got someone playing video games and you also want to capture their reactions. You want to capture that webcam video input as well. Well, screen capture can capture both of those and make them available over a local area network. Now, you might have a couple different laptops, right? You might have a three-on-three esports -three e tournament. You might have a pastor at the front of a church who's got a presentation. 
Well, now using the local area network, using NDI, we can capture that video and send it to the live streaming computer, which is much, much easier than an HDMI cable, obviously. And this is an example we've looked at in the past where you're capturing some screens and sending them to other screens, maybe in combination with Studio Monitor. And with Studio Monitor, as we mentioned, you can actually gain what I'm going to call KVM control, so keyboard control. And we're going to show that here in a moment. So let me go ahead and take you to my wireless camera where I can kind of show you this all working. Now, again, this monitor here, this computer, this is a Windows computer, Windows 7. Actually, it's a Windows 10 computer. It's an i7 Intel Nook computer running screen capture right over here. And just so I can show this fully, I, we also have a USB connected webcam. So we can show we're going to get two 1080p video sources over the local area network into our main live streaming computer. So over here, Brian, why don't we go ahead and add a source, add an input into vMix. vMix is, of course, an NDI compatible video production software that we're going to use today. And when we scroll down a little bit here, we're going to see right there. Boom. Now, this is interesting, and this is something I want to just get a little closer on here. So this is two sources coming from the computer. One is the capture of the screen. The other is the webcam that is coming in. So this is called an NDI group. So these are grouped together under the computer name. So let's go ahead and click the PTZ Optics uh, webcam since we do already have the screen capture. And now here's the webcam coming in here. So that's the webcam video source. And then we also have, of course, the um and let's cut to the uh, screen capture as well that we have and then we've got the screen and it's literally as simple as that we've got those two video sources coming in over the local area network so that is basically the way to control um studio actually you know what, brian let's do one more thing if you take me back to the smartphone here now go down here and open studio monitor Let's open up Studio Monitor and show that. Okay, there we go. It's right there. We're going to open it up for this demo. And when Studio Monitor opens, now we've already done a video on Studio Monitor, but go ahead and right click Studio Monitor. That's going to open up all the sources that we have available. And one of them is Desktop 67. I know that's kind of a strange name, but you can see the two sources that pop up. Let's choose that. And let's choose the Intel Iris Pro Graphics, which is our screen capture. Yep, go ahead. And now you see something we haven't talked about in, in this course yet, which is the KVM, the opportunity to use KVM. The other thing we're seeing here is that green bar. And the green bar, just if I zoom out here, you can see the screen capture is in preview. So that green bar will show up to let us know, hey, it's in preview. That's a tally light indicator. Now, if we go back to the studio monitor over here, Brian, go ahead and hover over studio monitor and click the KVM. Now you have keyboard control of this computer. So you can go ahead and go ahead and just manipulate it a little bit there just to show that we, it's working. Now we're actually controlling this computer over here. Go ahead and just control it a little more, Brian, just so we can show this what's happening here. So you can see here, Brian is typing into this computer over here. So it's a very useful tool that will allow you to do quite a lot with, with NDI and capturing of screens. All right, so that's a, that's a full demo of NDI screen capture and, of course, using it with NDI. So let's talk about the key takeaways and we'll wrap up this uh, tutorial. First of all, screen capture is totally free. And I do believe it is one of the most popular tools, one of the most used NDI tools available today. It's really one that if you're just getting started with NDI, this is the one to start testing out and using. We use it here in our studio all the time to send video from one computer to the next. And it's great in conjunction with Studio Monitor as we, we, should, we demonstrated today. It can be used on any computer. Um, this is available for both Mac and PC. 
And there's a new version of NDI screen capture called NDI HX. And we didn't really uh, demonstrate this one today because it's exactly the same as NDI screen capture with a few minor changes. NDI HX includes the ability to adapt the bitrate used so that you can manage the amount of bandwidth that screen capture uses. So the original screen capture tool uh, uses what is called NDI FB full bandwidth, but NDI HX is considered high efficiency. So you have multiple options for altering the bit rate that is being transferred over your local area network, and you can change the bandwidth that it uses. For something like capturing slides, we should probably be using NDI HX. So if we type in screen capture HX, I mentioned I forgot that we should probably take a peek at this. Why don't we just go ahead and show the options here quickly? If we if we zoom in on that, Brian, um, you'll see here there's a couple different options for bandwidth. So we have it on high right now. We have high, ultra high, medium, and low and resolution. So it gives you some additional options. It does not include the webcam. Uh, so if you do need the webcam source, you should use the normal NDI screen capture. But NDI HX adds those additional bandwidth features for capturing video over NDI. And that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video where we talk about NDI webcam input, another important NDI tool you should know all about. Are you using NDI screen capture? Let us know how you're using it. I'd love to know. And is NDI screen capture any good? Have you had issues with it? We haven't. We really love it. But let me know. I'd love to know what, what you're doing and how you're using it in the comments below. All right. I'll see you in the next video.